The F4U Corsair, a name synonymous with power and grace, emerged from the crucible of World War II as one of the most iconic fighter aircraft ever built. Its legacy is etched in the annals of aviation history, a testament to its remarkable design and performance. Conceived in the late 1930s, the Corsair was designed to be a carrier-based fighter for the United States Navy, a role it would fulfill with distinction. The vision was clear, to create an aircraft that could dominate the skies and ensure air superiority for the Allied forces. The brainchild of Vought's talented team of engineers, led by Rex Beisel, the Corsair, was a radical departure from its predecessors. It represented a bold leap in aviation technology, pushing the boundaries of what was possible at the time. From the outset, the Corsair was designed for speed and agility. Every aspect of its design was meticulously crafted to ensure it could outmaneuver and outpace its adversaries. Its massive Pratt and Whitney R2800 double wasp engine, one of the most powerful piston engines of the era, promised unparalleled performance. This engine was a marvel of engineering, providing the Corsair with the power it needed to excel in combat. This engine, coupled with the Corsair's distinctive inverted gull wings, gave it a unique silhouette that set it apart from any other aircraft in the sky. The design was not just for aesthetics, it played a crucial role in the aircraft's aerodynamics. The Corsair's journey from the drawing board to the front lines was not without its challenges. The path to perfection was fraught with obstacles requiring relentless dedication and innovation from its creators. Early prototypes faced issues, particularly during carrier landings, which almost led to the aircraft's cancellation. These problems were significant, threatening to derail the entire project. However, the Corsair's raw potential was undeniable, and the Navy persevered, ultimately overcoming these initial hurdles. Through determination and ingenuity, the Corsair evolved into a formidable fighter, earning its place in history. The Corsair's design was revolutionary for its time. Its most striking feature, the inverted gull wings, was not merely an aesthetic choice. This unique wing shape served a critical purpose. It allowed for the use of a massive propeller without compromising ground clearance. Engineered, the large propeller, essential for harnessing the power of the double wasp engine, was key to the Corsair's impressive speed and climb rate. Another defining feature was the Corsair's rugged all-metal construction. This robust design, a departure from the fabric-covered aircraft of the previous generation, made the Corsair incredibly durable and capable of withstanding significant battle damage. Pilots came to rely on the Corsair's strength, often returning from missions riddled with bullet holes yet still airworthy. The Corsair was heavily armed, equipped with 650 caliber machine guns, a formidable punch for its time. Later variants could also carry rockets and bombs, making the Corsair a versatile ground attack platform in addition to its role as a fighter. This adaptability would prove invaluable in the Pacific Theater, where the Corsair would face a variety of targets. The F-4U Corsair entered service with the United States Navy in 1942, but its introduction was not without its share of significant difficulties and challenges. Carrier landings, a critical aspect of naval aviation, proved particularly challenging due to the Corsair's long nose, which obstructed the pilot's forward vision, making it difficult to see the deck. Early attempts to land the Corsair on carriers resulted in a number of accidents, with many pilots struggling to adapt to the aircraft's unique characteristics. These frequent mishaps led to growing concerns about the aircraft's suitability for carrier operations, raising questions about its future in the Navy. As a result of these initial difficulties, the Corsair was initially relegated to land-based operations, where it could be more effectively utilized without the risk of carrier landings. In this new role, it excelled in the hands of the United States Marine Corps, proving to be a formidable asset in various combat scenarios. The Marines, engaged in fierce fighting in the Solomon Islands, welcomed the Corsair's exceptional performance and reliability in combat. Its speed, firepower, and ruggedness made it ideally suited for the harsh conditions of the Pacific Theater, where it could withstand the rigors of intense combat. Despite the early setbacks and challenges, the Navy remained committed to the Corsair, recognizing its potential and value. Through a combination of extensive pilot training and significant modifications to the aircraft itself, including a redesigned landing gear and a bubble canopy for improved visibility, the Corsair eventually overcame its landing issues, becoming a reliable carrier-based aircraft. By 1944, the Corsair was a common sight on the decks of American aircraft carriers, having proven its worth and reliability. 
It joined the fight against Japan alongside its Marine Corps counterparts, playing a crucial role in the Pacific theater and contributing significantly to the Allied war effort. The Corsair's arrival in the Pacific theater marked a significant turning point in the air war against Japan, altering the dynamics of aerial combat. Its long range and heavy firepower made it ideally suited for the island hopping campaign, providing crucial support to ground forces, where American forces were advancing steadily towards the Japanese home islands, capturing strategic positions one by one. The Corsair's ability to operate from rough, hastily constructed airstrips on captured islands proved invaluable to the American advance, ensuring continuous air support. The Corsair's primary adversary in the Pacific was the Mitsubishi A6M0, a formidable opponent in the skies. A highly maneuverable fighter that had dominated the skies early in the war, challenging Allied air superiority. While the Zero could outturn the heavier Corsair at low speeds, it struggled to match the Corsair in other aspects. The Corsair held the advantage in speed, firepower, and dive performance, making it a versatile and deadly aircraft. Corsair pilots learned to use these advantages to their advantage, exploiting the Zero's weaknesses and turning the tide of air battles. In the hands of skilled Marine Corps pilots, the Corsair proved to be a deadly adversary, capable of taking on any challenge. Its ruggedness allowed it to absorb tremendous punishment, often returning to base despite severe damage. While its powerful engine and heavy armament made it a formidable opponent in both air-to-air -air combat and ground attack missions, providing versatile support, the Corsair's reputation as a tough, dependable workhorse quickly spread among American pilots, becoming a symbol of resilience and strength, earning it the affectionate nickname Whistling Death from the Japanese, a testament to its fearsome presence in the skies. The Black Sheep Squadron, officially known as Marine Fighter Squadron VMF-214, became famous for their daring exploits and exceptional skill in using the F-4U Corsair during World War II. Led by Major Gregory Pappy Boyington, the squadron achieved numerous victories in the Pacific Theater, showcasing the Corsair's superior capabilities in combat. Under Boyington's leadership, the Black Sheep Squadron quickly earned a reputation for their audacious tactics and fearless flying. The squadron's pilots, many of whom were considered misfits and outcasts, found their true calling in the cockpit of the Corsair. Their unconventional approach to warfare and relentless spirit turned them into a formidable force against the Japanese. The Black Sheep Squadron's success was not just a testament to their skill and bravery, but also to the incredible performance of the Corsair. In the hands of these talented pilots, the Corsair proved to be an unstoppable machine, capable of outmaneuvering and outgunning its adversaries. The combination of the pilot's tenacity and the aircraft's capabilities led to a series of impressive victories that boosted Allied morale and contributed significantly to the war effort. The legacy of the Black Sheep Squadron endures to this day, a testament to the bravery and prowess of these pilots and their iconic aircraft. Their story is a vivid reminder of how determination, skill, and a powerful aircraft like the Corsair can turn the tide in the most challenging of battles. As the war progressed, the Black Sheep Squadron continued to push the limits, their exploits becoming legendary. Their bond with the Corsair grew stronger, each mission solidifying the aircraft's place in history as one of the most formidable fighters of World War II. The story of the Black Sheep Squadron and their Corsairs remains an enduring symbol of courage, resilience, and the unbreakable spirit of those who fight for freedom.